With their real-time agents, Cloudflare has entered the voice AI arena with others such as LiveKit and Pipecat. I'm going to show you how to create your own Cloudflare real-time voice agent so you can get started in minutes. We're going to set up and deploy to production completely serverless. First, let's take a look at Cloudflare. Cloudflare is a software company that provides an ultra-fast global CDN content delivery network and offers powerful developer and AI tools for building and scaling applications. Their serverless tech is awesome and super affordable. They just had their AI week and dropped a lot of updates. Here, we can see that they just launched real-time agents last week. Building voice AI is complex. Today, we're launching tools to make real-time voice AI easy to deploy as a static website. Cool, but okay, so what are real-time agents? If we go to the console here, to the agents, I mean, it's just a lot like LiveKit and Pipecat Daily. It's a service where you can build and run your voice AI agents that uses uses their global uh, network. You've seen a lot of diagrams like this before. Basically it's, you know, user audio gets captured and turned into text. That text is sent to an LLM, then returns a response in text, and that text is turned into audio and played back to the user. And so it's really cool that they're getting into this. Let's look at something they released a few weeks ago, MOQ or MOQ, uh, Media Over Quick is what it stands for, which is a new real-time streaming protocol that will probably become the new standard, as in everyone will adopt this protocol for their streaming services. And Cloudflare seems to be leading it. If we jump into this article, we can see that they're quoted here. We're joining Meta, Google, Cisco, and others in building implementations that work seamlessly together, creating a shared foundation for the next generation of real-time streaming applications on the internet. I highly suggest reading this article here. It's really good read. But yeah, so you can see that with these recent news drops as well as a ton of others that I didn't even mention you can see the patterns forming Cloudflare is definitely positioning themselves to become the go-to affordable serverless AI infrastructure and clearly setting up to evolve and push voice AI including conversational video AI avatars and all this this is awesome because these things are really fun. It's cool to see others join the domain of voice AI and affordability is really needed in this space. But all right, okay, um, enough of my obvious fortune telling predictions. Let's jump into building Cloudflare real-time agents. If we go to this repo, which I'll share in the description, let's git clone this sucker. All right, got you. And now we'll do git clone. I'm gonna open it in cursor. Cursor, Cloudflare. Cursor is just a IDE for developing code. You can use whichever IDE you like. I prefer Cursor. But now here we are. I'm going to open a terminal down here just because I like to. And this is the basic repo. Let's look at the README though. Let's go back to the README. Okay, so first off, okay, we cloned it and we're in the repo. Now let's install dependencies. Okay. Done. What next? The CPM file. Okay. I don't think you really have to do this, but I think it takes care of a couple of things that I'll show you. Okay. And now let's generate type gen. Okay, we'll do this. Now, before we do this, let me just check something. If we go into source, so this is where our worker is. This is our worker. And now, ah, okay. So didn't even need to do that, I guess. So sometimes if you, if you start developing this code, sometimes these environment variables won't be recognized, but this just kind of takes care of it. And that's really only for when you're looking at it locally. You could deploy it and it'd be fine because we're gonna update the environment variables in the console anyways, and I'll show you that. Let's go back to, where are we? So type gen, and we probably don't even have to do this to deploy it. I just, again, I like to, all right, we're running that. And what the type gen command does is if you're not familiar with Cloudflare, you have things like this in a wrangler.json-c file. This is kind of your workers, your Cloudflare workers setup. It has like attachments and things like bindings. So if you have something like this AI binding and then you use you access that AI binding through through this EMV here and it will be should be where are you? Ah, here. Yeah, so we access that EMV, that AI binding here through the EMV, but in TypeScript, it won't really know it's aware of that. So that's why we generate those um, types with that command, but it's already taken care of. Okay, where are we now? So we ran that. 
npx regular login. Okay, I know I've already done that because I just recently tried this out. So I'm just going to skip to this one, but you're going to want to make sure your command line is logged in with your Cloudflare account. So go ahead and do that if you haven't already. It's, it's actually really straightforward. Okay, let's deploy this. Okay. Cool. Looks like it was deployed just fine. And let's see, it says when you deploy, note the terminal log response deployed to here. And you'll see my subdomain is Kyle J. Campbell. Let's just show that. So yeah, so I, I deployed it and it says, okay, it deployed the real-time agents uh, and to this link. So Cloudflare real-time agents, the name of the repo. And then this is my subdomain. Kyle J. Campbell dot workers dot dev. Your subdomain will be different right here for Kyle J. Dev. So just make note of that for later. Okay, now it says go to the Cloudflare console and we're going to create the real time API token. Okay, we're in the Cloudflare console under workers and we can see that this is the worker I just deployed. So cool, it showed up, it's deployed, it's already in production now. It was that quick. But we want to go to go to Cloudflare console, manage account, account API tokens, create a token, the real time and select admin, okay. So we'll go to account management, go to accounts and API tokens. All right, so here's, here's my Cloudflare real time agents. I already created this, but let's just kind of go through the process. So you're gonna go to create the token and then you're gonna go to get started with custom and then you're just going to give this any name any name and you're just going to want to pick real time and then admin and then just continue and create it and you're going to use this api token for later okay so we did that now set environment variables so we're going to go back to that worker that we created that we deployed and we're going to set up the account uh, the environment variables account id api token deep gram api key and 11 labs api key so we just created the api token so copy copy that once you create it here you'll see it here so just go ahead and copy it one, after you create it. Go back to the workers. And now we're gonna click on Cloudflare Real-Time Agents. We're gonna go to Settings, Variables and Secrets, and we're gonna add. Okay, so we're gonna do Account ID, and then you get your Account ID, select Account Home, and then next to your name, there will be three dots. Click on those three dots and a Copy Account ID will appear. Just do that and then paste it here and then we'll add another one and we'll add so next you want to add api token and then you want to add deepgram api key and then you want to add 11 labs api key and put each of those values here and then deploy i'm going to do that now and then cut that part of the video out all right you can see that i've added the environment variables that we needed the account id api token deepgram api key and 11 labs api key for these bottom two deepgram and 11 labs you'll have to go to your own accounts on their own websites and enter the values. Okay, where are we now? Now we need to set up the real-time streaming or real-time meeting. Okay, so in Cloudflare, go to real-time, real-time kit dashboard. Uh, whoops. Let's go to real-time and then go to real-time kit dashboard. Okay, and then presets, create a web, a voice WebRTC preset. Okay, let's go to presets. Okay, I've already created one, and if you don't have one, just create new here, which I'll just do it. So we go to voice, and then let's just, yeah, create this. That's fine, just whatever. And then we'll just say new voice preset, save. Okay, so now I have those presets, and now go to meetings, create new meeting with any name. Create a meeting. Let's just call it Cloudflare Real Time Agents Meeting. All right, create meeting. Okay, it was created. All right, so now we have this here. What next? Select join under actions and enter name and join. Okay, join this meeting. Uh, my name is Kyle Campbell and so this is why we created a preset first is because if you didn't have a preset made, it just wouldn't let you continue. So that's why we created ours. So let's just create the new one that we created. 
And then we're gonna click join now. Should open up a new tab, yeah. And this will be like, you know, live kit meet or um, dailies meeting rooms. It's, it's just Cloudflare's version. And so here we are. All right, now what? And now go back to real time browser tab and do the generate link and we'll see. Okay, so let's go back to the here. And so now let's do a new one. Let's do join. So we're joined as ourselves here. So now we want the agent to join. So let's click join. Let's call this agent and we'll do the same preset, but instead of joining, we'll do generate link. Okay, generate link. And now we can copy this and that copy should look very similar to, to this. And so what we're gonna do, notice the two variables. Yeah, you get a meeting ID and then you get a auth token. And so what we'll do is now we need to run this command in the terminal with those values. So let's jump into the terminal. I'm gonna use this real quick as like scratch paper. So this is the link that we got and now we're gonna take this, copy that, put it into here, cause this is where we're gonna run it. But let's first change the subdomain. So my subdomain will be different from yours. Mine will be Kyle J. Campbell. And you remember earlier when we deployed our agent, it was shown here, right? So you're gonna change, replace Kyle J. Campbell with your subdomain that'll be right here in between the real-time agents and workers dot all right so next we need the meeting id okay so let's delete that and let's go up here to the link we copied and we will take this meeting id and we will put it there okay all right now we need the auth token so we're going to delete the auth token and we're going to get it from here copy that and put it here all right and we're going to just run this Okay, so, all right, so now our agent should be in the room with us. Yep. Participant joined, Kyle Campbell. Hello. Can you hear me? Let's see how long it takes to... You're communicating with me through text, so I don't hear you in the classical sense. However, I can detect and respond to the text you're sending, which I interpret as a form of communication. I'm here to assist you, and I'm ready to engage in a conversation. How can I help you today? Reach a point where our conversation becomes a bit more focused. What were you thinking of exploring or discussing? Yeah, okay, uh, what's your name? Nice to meet you. I don't have a personal name, but I'm often referred to as assistant or AI assistant for simplicity. If you'd like, I can generate a nickname or a persona for our conversation, but I'll always be here to provide information and assist you to the best of my abilities. How can I help you today? Um, what should I have for lunch? Deciding on lunch can be a bit challenging, but I'm here to help. There are so many delicious options to consider. To get started, can you tell me a bit about your preferences? Do you have any dietary restrictions or allergies I should keep in mind? Are you in the mood for something light and easy or something more substantial? Also, what type of cuisine are you leaning towards? Italian, Mexican, Asian, or perhaps something else? Let's chat about it and I can help you narrow down some options that suit your taste and needs. Okay, you're really verbose out of the box. I should have reduced those uh, outputs, but um, no, no, thank you. Uh, what, what are you gonna eat for lunch? Hello? It seems like you're having a bit of a moment. Don't worry, I'm here to help. You can start fresh and ask me anything that's on your mind. I'll do my best to provide a helpful and clear response. What's been going on or what would you like to talk about? Hello, it's nice to meet you. I'm here to assist you with any questions or topics you'd like to discuss. How can I help you today? Yeah, I asked what uh, you're gonna eat for lunch. I'm not capable of eating or consuming physical substances. I exist solely as a digital entity designed to assist and communicate with users like you. I don't have personal needs or experiences, but I can certainly help you decide on a lunch option or provide you with recipe suggestions if you'd like. Yeah, okay, so just muted both sides. Um, all right, yeah, well, uh, we can clearly see or hear 
that the Cloudflare real-time agent has some latency issues and some other issues where it just didn't hear me. It is not as fast to respond out of the box as LiveKit or Pipecat. So they have a lot of room to improve for sure, but they are new and I'm sure they are aware of all this. So let's see how they fix these things in the next few months. But it's really exciting. I mean, really cool to see a new approach to all this. Other than that, this was a very easy setup, created a voice AI agent and deployed to production really fast. And the best part is that it is really affordable. So yeah, I think that's all for now. Drop a like or comment with any questions. If you want to build cool stuff and chat with other builders, go ahead and join my Discord linked in the description and we could chat up there. All right, cool. See ya.